Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a talky makeup tutorial with you. This is my everyday go to meetings or have a date kind of easy makeup. Um, so I hope you really like it. There's a combination of K-beauty and international brands. So let's get started. The first thing I do is I start with curling my eyelashes. And the reason being is I actually do it twice. So I'm going to do this. If you, if you don't like watching somebody do their eyelashes, look away. I usually do this twice because my eyelashes are a little bit damp because usually I would have just cleansed my face. So I do it once and then as my eyelashes dry, I'll do it again. And I always use the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I can get it in Korea, but I also buy it when I'm in Japan. It's very cheap. In Korea, it's not so cheap, but it's one of the best. First, I'm starting with a Makeup Forever HD Concealer. This is particularly for your under eyes. They do color correctors as well. I really like this one. I don't have that dark of circles, but I do like to put it underneath. Ooh. Yeah, it's like suddenly bright. It's raining outside right now. Um, so it was a little bit dim earlier. So anyway, I just put the high, uh, highlighter, I just put the concealer under my eyes and I tend to put it like in other places as well where I have a little bit of redness. So that would be like around the nose here. Sometimes I put it like on the bridge of my nose and also like right between the eyebrows and on the forehead here. And what I tend to do is I'll put con um, concealer on before my foundation and a little bit after my foundation just so you have like a good double coverage. But make it really light and don't like cake it on too much. Otherwise, you'll have creasing. So once the concealer is in, I go and use my trusted favorite, the Hera UV Mist Cushion. This is the limited edition packaging that came out last year, but I just refill it. Um... Yeah, there's no reason to buy a new case until you want a new case. So this is my color. I'm using C21. I use the N21, the natural, but this is the cover. Because I'm going out to a meeting and also maybe going out tonight, I like a little bit more cover, but usually I do like the N. So anyway, I just pick it up, dab, 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 and lightly dab around. Especially where there's like redness. You don't like sweep with a cushion, you just kind of dab it in. I like it because the formula is very brightening and it's very, very natural. I don't feel like I'm wearing like really heavy a foundation and it's quite moisturizing too and glowy. And that's the kind of makeup that I really, really like. So now I'm gonna contour. I don't contour like super, super heavy, but just a little bit. And I've been using the Tartus Contour Palette. Um, you can see here there's lots of different, oops, sorry, I'm blinding you. It's lots of different colors. It's really good for traveling because I do like TV shows and stuff. I can throw it in my bag and I have some options. So I'm going to use this lighter one. And I look so white right now because of the contrast of the lighting, but I'm not that white. And I just like put it on here. <laughs> Whoa, that's like kind of too much. Um, and I just blend it around the edge of the face, especially on the jaw. And I actually go underneath my chin. And I'll sometimes take the darker color and I'll go right here. Um, just so I don't have that much of a double chin. I like it just to give me a little bit more angles to my face. But also, I have kind of a high... Um, Forehead? <laughs> What's the word? Forehead. And I just put it on the edge of the hairline. This is very popular to do in Korea. They like to fill in their hairline a lot with um, contour powder. And they go around the perimeter of the face very, very lightly with contour just because they want to make the, the center of the face more of a focus. But I kind of like use a combination of Western contour style and Korean contour style and just lightly do it because I'll do under the cheek, which is not really popular in Korea. Oh, the rain is really coming down now. Oh my goodness. It's monsoon season here in Korea. So like, can you hear it? Hold on. Super, super rainy. Yeah, so if you hear like crazy rain sounds, it's because it's crazily raining outside. <laughs> okay, so now I will start doing my eyes with this base on. I actually do my blush and my highlighter later. So I'm using the Tartlet In Bloom palette. Um, I don't use that many palettes because I end up using a lot of like single eyeshadows. But here we are, that's what it looks like. So I take this Sigma brush, it's a blending brush, and I take the lightest color and I just like go all over the, the eye lid. The eyelid, yes. I like really light eyelids. I don't know why. I don't really like con super contoured eyelids. I like it really fresh. So I put that on. And then I'm gonna use the Funny Girl today, which is a pearly, 
pearly look and I just go over the whole eyes again. Just gives it a really like fresh eye look without that much makeup. And I typically, especially with the pearl colors, I go like in the corner of the eye to make your eyes have that kind of pop in the corner. So with the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, this is E45, I'm gonna go in with Jet Setter right here, which is just kind of like a really natural contour. Just a little bit of contour, just a little bit. And I will go in the crease of the eye like this. Just to give my eyes a little bit more depth, but I'm really into a very natural nude eyelid. And then with this really small brush, this is from Real Techniques, I think it's an eyeliner brush. I take the same eyeshadow, the Jet Sitter, and I'm gonna go under my eye to give it a little bit more depth as if I'm using an eyeliner, but I don't like using eyeliners too much on the, on the bottom of my eyes. <laughs> because I find that I have very sensitive eyes and I don't like what I just did to myself right there. Oh yeah, so like I said, I'll sometimes go back and do concealer over my foundation. So I'm using the full cover from Makeup Forever and I just go in and like hit certain spots. So for example, I have a little like acne scar right here. So I'll just dab it onto the spot over my foundation. I have a little blood vessel here too, so I'll put that on. And here as well, there's like a little zit that's healing up. I'll hit that as well. And this is where I'll go back and curl my eyelashes again because now that they've had a chance to dry, they will curl more. So I like to line my eyes before I do my mascara. So I've been using this Japanese one. It's just like Love Liner Liquid MSH Labo. I bought this in Don Quixote last time I was in Japan and it was, I really like it. But I mean, you can use any eyeliner you want. This one is a liquid that's in a pen form, which is really, really convenient. And I just give myself a subtle, thin cat eye. This is kind of my signature cat eye. And if you wanna know like how to do this, practice and practice and practice. When I was in college, I used to do my eyeliner, actually I do my makeup on the bus on the way to school, and I would do liquid eyeliner on the bus. And so after learning how to do in a moving vehicle, uh, you can do it pretty much anytime, anywhere. Yeah, so it's just a very light eyeliner. And then I'll go in under my eye, the corner of my bottom eye, just a little bit, and hit that spot. And sometimes I'll just like smudge it out. Because I really don't like lower eyeliner too much because it makes me have like panda eyes and I look tired. So I just lightly do it in the corners. Here I will go in with my favorite mascara. This is the Mega Eyes Volume Express Smudge Proof. I have a lot of smudging on my eyes, so I find this is really convenient. It's got two tips. You've seen this in another one of my videos. This is the upper lash, and this is the lower lash. So just go in and do the upper lashes just very lightly to give them some lift. I don't completely saturate them. I actually come back and do it one more time. I do the lower lashes. So because it's humid in Seoul right now, I'll actually wait a couple minutes for this to dry down and then I'll do my second coat on my top lashes. I am using this Muji eyebrow pencil. It has like a sponge in the middle for general coloring. It has a eyebrow pencil, which is pointed, and it has a spoolie. I really like this a lot. It's so convenient. So first what I do is I just take the sponge part and I kind of fill in very lightly. This is a light color, um, the kind of thinner parts of my eyebrow. I'm not very good at my eyebrows. I'm just kind of learning how. Korean eyebrow trends are really all about these like thick bushy eyebrows, which I don't have because I have more thin, maybe because I over tweezed them when I was in college. I don't know, but they're definitely thin and arched, kind of classic um, Hollywood looking eye eyebrows. So I kind of try to just fill them in a little bit, but don't go overboard. Because when I had makeup artists do my Korean eyebrows, I looked kind of crazy. So I just kind of go with a natural shape. And then with the pointed side, I go in and fill the bare spots and then like really give it a little bit more shape. So I can kind of like carve out a tail right here. So then using the brush, I go in and like brush it. How's that? Not bad? <laughs> They're almost done. Okay, blush. I know I've been waiting to do blush and highlighter and some good stuff towards the end. And this is just the stage I do. I don't know why I go in this order, 
but this is the order that I go. I have been using the Tartus blush. I just recently got this. I wanted some more options for colors. So I got it because of being on set and doing um, TV stuff. I wanted some options to go with different outfits. So today I'm wearing something a little bit brighter. So I'm using the brightest color on this side. It's a little bit more coral pink. And I've been using the Real Techniques blush brush. I don't know why. I like this blah, blah, blah. I really like this blush brush a lot. So I tend to put it like on the apples of my cheeks quite a bit. And a little bit overdone because I will show you in a second. I blend it out with my highlighter. And I really like that kind of girlish, um, cute blush, which I think is really popular. Well, it is really popular much more in Japan. Um, and this is just my style. I don't know why. I just have always really, really loved blush. And then I go in with my favorite, 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 favorite highlighter. Everyone thinks, wow, you're ha you have such glowing skin. Uh, no, the reality is I use highlighter like I use setting powder. Like, hello, it's so light. So I just kind of like dab it on. This one is the <clears throat> Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35. I just use it because it's quite precise. You might want to use something a little bit more fluffy. And I just tap it in on the tops of my cheekbone, above my eyebrow, down my nose, above my lip, on my chin a little bit, just a little bit, because you don't want make, to make your chin like longer. If you have a shorter chin, it really works. But I just put a little bit, but mostly it is on the tops of my cheeks, like, because I love I want to see it from space and then what I do is I go back and I kind of like blend it in with the blush a little bit so it doesn't have like such a stark line okay so now that my eyelashes had some time to dry down a bit I'll go ahead and do another coat on my upper lashes because it's quite humid outside I'm gonna go ahead and fix my face with the makeup forever HD powder I don't use this all the time but if I wanna make sure that nothing smudges, especially under my eye, I will just like tap it a little bit. I love glowy makeup, so I don't wanna mattify anything too much, but it's super humid outside today, so I'm gonna to need to just give it a little tap. Last but not least with the eyebrows, I go in with this Innisfree Eyebrow Mascara. It's called Ultra Fine Brow Cara. It's a little bit lighter. I like in the summertime to have a little bit lighter eyebrows. So I just go in very, very lightly, fill in, or rather just lighten my existing eyebrows so they don't look so harsh, especially in the summer. I find that it looks a little bit more youthful. If I want my eyes to have a little bit extra pop, I use this Etude House Play 101 Eye Pencil, and this one is this pink glitter one, and I just go in and I do the corner of my eye again, because I'm kind of obsessed with that Korean up team under eye agio cell thing, and I just do it a little bit. I don't go too overboard. I want it to look blended and natural. I just go in and like do that. If you're paler, I think the pink works really well. If you have more yellow skin tones, um, definitely there's a golder version. Okay, absolute final step is lips and I use Bite Beauty which is Canadian brand that sells at Sephora in America and it is food grade ingredient lips, uh, lip products. So it's really natural. It's not vegan but it's very very natural and I like to put quite natural products on my lip because I end up eating it anyway. So I just use this lip matte lip crown in Leche and I just give myself a little bit of color I don't fill it in completely because I really, really love the feeling of lip balm lips. I'm very minimal when it comes to daily, daily makeup. So I love their Agave Lip Mask. It is so, so moisturizing. The packaging is totally rubbed off, but I've had this for probably about six months and I still have another six months in here. It lasts a really long time. This is the champagne and it's a really great lip balm. It's supposed to be for like at night. You're supposed to put it on at night, but I just wear it all the time. And it's super moisturizing and I love how natural it looks. And I forgot one last step I usually do is I always put a facial mist on to fix the layers of makeup. So if I put a powder at the end, definitely. So this one's the Hair Relaxing Facial Mist. It just came out. It has a lot of glycerin in it, which is really good for that dewy look. Just mist and you're good to go. Done. So that's it. This is my daily going out meeting makeup kind of routine. 
Um, I hope you really like it. If you like more of these kind of like get ready with me, talky makeup stuff, let me know. I also have another regular makeup routine that I do that is 100% natural. It is really pregnancy safe. If you're really concerned about having totally chemical free makeup, I have one for you. So I'll do that one later. But in the meantime, I will see you later. Bye.